Creating Entrepreneurial Change, CEC Smart Pack. Now, CEC is a key part of your overall level seven learning. Decisions, changes, communications. That's what this level is all about. The ultimate CEO level, the ultimate strategic level in your journey to become a strategist. So the global market decision subject supported by creating entrepreneurial changes. The best decisions you make in your life, if not supported with the relevant changes, just becomes dreams and never achieved. And there onwards, if those changes are not communicated with multi-stakeholders, you rarely will be able to achieve any level of execution. So this discussion is on the entrepreneurial changes subject area and the assignment. So what's going to happen in this smart pack? And a smart pack is a brand that we've coined, I don't know, maybe six, seven years ago uh, to give you a little smart set of hints and guidance to support you on your assignment, going beyond what the examiner gives you. So I hope you benefit from it. Of course, this is a high level run over on the task. So you start understanding what's at play and there onwards we will go deeper on each one of these tasks as your uh, involvement with this class uh, evolves in the next couple of months. All right, so just for fun, examiner even gives you uh, guidance on even how to get an F, in other words, how to avoid an F. This is all there in your assignment brief. So of course, that's how to get an A. Please read through and see that you're fully guided on how to best make this assignment work for you. So company background is your start for every task, which has been discussed a lot as at now. You have a document called Guide 1 in your Google Classroom. Please go through that. Let's straight away get to your 1B. So once again, CIM gives you a different challenge apart from the theoretical areas that is called giving you a direction through a command word. So in this case, the command word is evaluate. So please go through your command word document in the Google Classroom. This is very serious, guys. A lot of uh, smart candidates uh, don't get great marks because they fail to understand this. So evaluate by use of examples, real examples of other companies with sources, etc. The two aspects of the macro or micro. So you can pick two macro factors or two micro factors. As you know, these are both part of the external environment and you surely will do a detailed environmental audit for this task that have had the most substantial impact on your chosen organization over past five years. So you clearly need a bit of a table to analyze it uh, the, over the, the five year horizon and see what are those aspects. You can go more than five, uh, at more than two to analyze and of course you're going to evaluate only two. So let's say look at the political aspect with the changes of the government, what will be the political changes in this country is an important factor for every strategist, head of a company, CEO, entrepreneur to worry about. You are looking at the past five years. So example in the last five years, if the government has taken some policy decisions with regard to, let's say polythene usage, or if there's been some policy decisions on privatization of certain sectors, policy decisions to allow foreign investments on certain uh, industries. At the same time, you know what has happened on technology with 5G, that's a macro factor. Of course, the April bomb blast, Easter attack. So there could be macro factors, micro factors from competition that you want to map and see what has given resulted in the biggest impact and those impacts could have been influencing some innovations it is not said here but you got to take it into your consideration because this is a entrepreneurial change innovation assignment so please take a note of where would have been innovation spurred or inspired because of these factors in the last five years so 
how to plan a question answer couple of formats for you to think through go through them you will see how each of the tasks you can look at books to read articles to read as you could see and you're well planned before you start writing so the environment impacting your company i'm going to look at a company 7s framework is a good way to look at what's happening inside your company and some of the innovation dimensions uh, disruptive innovation rooting innovation radical uh, architectural innovation so these are like theoretical dimensions of how you will code certain approaches to innovation so how do you write it here's an example of a flow that how to start an assignment what's going in the middle how do you make your case don't follow blindly this is just a example for you to get you going so once he is about a specific concept called disruptive innovation so you can't just make this up you got to look at exactly which author who has been spoken the speaking the most about disruptive innovation once again there are two command words here explain as well as critically assess so while you talk about the concept of disruptive innovation you are going to assess two dimensions one is competitor and risks in your business and so see because of competition and because of risks how has it impacted innovation in your company in your market sector sorry in your market sector so because what a competitor has done or is doing how has it impacted the way you serve your meals or your drive through or your home delivery or how you call up a doctor what has or doc done and how has that impact hemas navaloka hospital chains so uh, telehealth right is becoming a big factor certain risks in your industry like data risks identity theft risks has given innovations of banks look to protect your uh, uh, safety and security when they are banking so specific areas of risk can competition and how it has impacted your market sector so when you look at your market sector analysis most will use like a five forces to comment about what has happened and what's happening in your market sector five five forces come is a concept by uh, michael porter so keep that in mind so once again the flow of the task go through uh, that will give you an idea how to start it how to build it up and how do you conclude it again it's a indicative guide so this is christian clayton's clayton christensen's a model on disruptive innovation is the godfather of this concept uh, so you will not just use it you will map different competitors at different places these discussions will happen detail in the class so this is just to give you a bit of a quick nudge to see what's at play five forces some reading risk tools how to assess risk how to profile certain risks from sad grove another author and you know without authors and i've been referencing it you are unable to write a professional assignment uh, seven steps competitor drilling by davidson so that you can look at this and understand competition and see how it impacts innovation in your market sector how amazon which entered the retail market uh, being a purely a online uh, shopping company today they are on ground they bought whole foods 400 outlets at that time they started amazon go the cashierless shopping experience and how is that impacting the industry some thoughts for you laid out in a more simplistic way uh, how each this whole assignment task is connected the how the market sector is impacted by risk and competition so make a note go through read through and let's have a chat in our master class task 2 of your report takes you to one of the most important initiatives that you will take as a ceo that is to do a innovation audit uh, and then obviously figure out the capabilities of your company so as you know most companies are innovative or not innovative it's not because they like it or not some of them have internal constraints internal enablers sometimes the most innovative companies like lego has lost its way 3m lost its way but of course they came back 
Kodak totally lost its way and went bankrupt. So a detailed innovation audit will help you diagnose deep-rooted nuts and bolt level issues of a company. There onwards, the task gives you two more challenges to understand the innovation capability uh, for their to develop and manage change. And you know, a uh, company is innovative, is able to continuously change the inner workings of a company to be able to meet the market demands. So here you're looking at how capable is this company to manage change. So while it's not highlighted here, you got to take serious note, sorry, on the topic of uh, managing change, which further gets discussed in the next task. Now, when you want to solve a problem, when how to hail a taxi or a three-wheeler, problem had to be solved, where people had to be standing on the road, getting wet to take a try show, uh, studying a subject like CIM, where you have to come three times to classes, drive all the way, find parking, listen to three different lecturers, and some of them honestly haven't done it themselves, they're probably very good at communications. So, and then some of them have their life stories and listen to jokes and all this drama to learn a subject that you are right now learning online on recorded guides of this nature. Now, when you want to crack open problems of this nature, traditional approaches don't work. That's why there's a concept called entrepreneurial approaches. You've got to read about this, study about this. And the examiner has already given you a couple of hints on what are such entrepreneurial approaches? Mind mapping, creative techniques, horizon scanning, brainstorming, and how those approaches, you're talking about three such approaches, can help you achieve your company objective. Once again, remember, uh, you are looking at uh, the objectives with a special focus on the theme that you have already discussed and justified in your company background. So very interesting. First part, you looked at the innovation DNA of the company. Now we are looking at what entrepreneurial tools, approaches could be relevant for your company to achieve its objectives. So if you were to crack an idea for polythene-less shopping, queueless banking, I mean, these are these are challenges that you should, uh, battery-less mobile phone, which is a big mess for all of us to charge. And uh, so many problems to solve, right, in the world. And as a company, your company will be called upon to solve some of these problems. So how do you solve them? Using entrepreneurial approaches. Final part. So uh, once again, guys, uh, there is a rundown on how you would probably approach this. So go through them. Don't follow blindly. Uh, some linkages to where you can get the theory you know all these books are in your google classroom and some entrepreneurial approach examples that you could use and links that you could study them further apart from the books that you have design thinking is a very interesting subject again have a look at it final task is exciting one transformational change here you're going to actually map two innovations for your company. Actual innovation. Like the L'Oreal Modiface example. Like the Pick Me Try Show app example. Like the ODOC example for telehealth. Like the work from home, work from home model some company has created beyond everybody else. So uh, but of course, you're looking at a more customer value proposition, ideally. But for that, you will have to look at some innovations that even go to other aspects of the company for you to deliver. So the theory that is at play is called value proposition canvas. You will get some uh, guide for that in the next couple of slides. So you're actually mapping to value proposition canvases, justifying them, how far some of the factors that you suggested is going to help achieve the objectives of the company. So this is very visual, pictorial exercise. The second one, task B, is two appropriate measurement techniques.
techniques to measure potential impact of implementing of your two innovations within the organization. So you got to look at when this innovation is implemented, where will it impact, how will it impact, what stakeholders will it impact, what business results will it give it. So what techniques can you use? Example, you could use a balanced scorecard as one of the techniques. Similarly, you could look at other techniques that can help you to see how far is this innovation implemented and is it impacting. Finally, is every CEO's challenge. It's about recommending. I hope you're also making notes of the command words to recommendation. Big marks here, guys. A change management strategy for improving the innovation culture within your organization. So you got to think about the culture that you currently work in your company. Is it an innovative culture? If you have an idea, how does that idea get escalated? How would people uh, debate those ideas? Can you challenge your bosses? If that idea is selected, how do you get the support to make that idea a reality? Sometimes some of the things you do could fail. Your greatest ideas could fail. Will that lose, result in a loss of job, result in penalization? If that happens, no one's going to try things out, right? So some cultures are absolutely made to stifle innovation. Some cultures are made to just make innovation flourish. And most of the time, it's your role to make that happen. So here you are coming up with a change management strategy. So you need change management theory. But remember, that whole theory and an approach you're bringing is to build an innovation culture. So you've got to look at what are the dimensions of an innovation culture. And how are you going to build it through a change management strategy. So once again, for the first part of the task, there are some theory, blue ocean, not a red ocean. That's for your innovation in task 1A. If your idea can take to a blue ocean, fantastic. Read a little bit about it, some thoughts. Then value proposition canvas theory for you, how it's done, the customer side of it and the value proposition side of it, pains, gains, gain creators, pain relievers. We will talk about these in detail in class. And your recommendation, a little bit of a flow of your overall plan. Some more theory of innovative companies, some of the characteristics in them. This is from your main text you are going to use for this assignment, which is Paul Trott's book on innovation and new product development. Then, of course, we use uh, Tid's book, and those are core for innovation. Even your Exploring Strategy book by Johnson & Scholes will have a chapter on innovation and entrepreneurship. So please use them in the Google Classroom. We'll discuss these as we go. Finally, on the change management approach, John Cotter is one of the best authors on change. So here is his eight-step model for successful change, especially for drastic changes. So you will have to use a model or two, a combination of this, in the task 3C to support a structure for your assignment. So, once again, guys, the game plan is to make life easy, simple, enjoyable for you so that you don't have to stress out doing these assignments. Now you know that if you read it, you can understand it's in English. There's a flow and there are certain theories which you need to find from the material that you have. And of course, Daffodil is there to help you. Uh, to find anything that you are unable to. So get the game started and uh, this is just a outline of your assignment, a run through. You will get more detail, detail support on each of the tasks as we progress. See you in the masterclass.